here's uh, a, quite a rare occasion to catch one of these next rads actually giving a, a fairly decent burst out and they never do this unless there's some precipitation somewhere I'd like this one across here um, but I'm gonna just roll this forward and I'm gonna have a look see what the weather was doing at this time um, sometimes they can um, charge the atmosphere anyway for a slightly different place but um, we were talking to Mark Lawrence who was the top scientist in the world on um, weather and cloud formations and this was in Berlin at the uh, conference for geoengineering and climate change an incredible week you'll be seeing more videos on this but look at the power of this next rad here this next rad is the one which I'll show you in a moment which is just here there's your baby I think I've shown you this one before on Google Earth and if we just come out of this you can see where that is there's always two towers the bloody twin towers there's something interaction you'll always see one of these with another tower or you'll even see two of these towers together they are weather modification towers for the positive and negative ions in the atmosphere for precipitation and cloud manipulation I just know folks this is deadly serious um, I've gone from Bergerac traveled 1600 kilometers only a few days ago and we have seen these about every three to four kilometers along the Autobahn and along the main roads in France they are everywhere and many times you'll actually see the mobile phone towers now that is not a mobile phone tower both of these are transmitters but the next one on the left is both transmitter and receiver so this is how they are doing it so they're beyond any shadow of a doubt there's also satellite scanning and involved in this and they also have laser on satellite and uh, ground lasers in the USA and on ships for causing precipitation the patents are there I've read them there's also another pattern being granted to do with storing energy in the atmosphere and withdrawing it through a plasma vortex um, I'll show that one later as well it is absolutely incredible no wonder the magnetic fields and the weather are changing the cloud formations this is the baby I was talking about that's what that next rad can do now this is a rare opportunity to actually see one of these when they're exercising you know slightly more power than they would normally put out in a beam um, but it's caught it just in one instance you look at that it's gone you go back one it's caught it pulsing and you go back it's disappeared now we know this is what's happening in between the shots well they missed this baby this is one that we caught so there you have it can you imagine the energy that's transmitted in that pulse when it goes from South Wales it goes right up to the Midlands and it comes to Dieppe right here <laughs> um, past Guernsey on the continent of North France going into um, almost up to Belgium uh, you've got Dover Calais there unbelievable power and this shows up on a satellite 350 kilometers above the Earth's atmosphere um, on the line of the equator is uh, another weather front coming in here now I'm baffled by some of the cloud formations that stretch sometimes 500 to a thousand miles in a straight line and you can see the line develop along the front but this is like a cloud coming in and you see the front fade away I'll try and look at another satellite and add it to this in a moment but um, if we just uh, look at this one here let's try take the size down a little bit um, let's have a look on this this is the, uh, the Met Office's uh, satellite that they put imagery on their website um, what's unusual about this is you'll see that long thin line that stretches from that section there um, and I, I believe that this is caused by some of the radio wavelengths 
magnetic wavelengths that cause those unusual manipulations in the weather. Um, but if you look, that long thin line, and I know a lot of the shields will come on, no, oh, it isn't, it's, it's natural. These are parts of sections of clouds that certainly are not natural. And having been to Berlin only a few days ago and seen top scientists giving talks on harp, yes, there's over a hundred harp stations. They say the one, the main one, um, is actually uh, temporarily closed down. But there are many, many other harp stations that put the uh, ionization into the uh, atmosphere along with the next rads as other videos show. But you know what they said in Berlin? There's a major disaster emergency on its way. Whatever that is, something to do with the weather. And they will be bringing it on. There's 500 climate laws that came in 2013. And in 2015, the USA will be attending the Paris Climate Change uh, Conference. So you watch what's coming up because they will manipulate some massive storm somewhere either Europe, UK and certainly in the United States that will say now look at climate change we've got to act now and these are all the implementations they want to bring in so we've all been warned